Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can run uh, one 2.1 on Comfy Y. And uh, in this video, uh, in the past video on this channel, I have uh, shown you how you can use one 2.1 on Comfy Y with the help of uh, the custom node created by Kijai Video Wrapper. But in this video, we are going to use the native node uh, provided by Comfy Y. So it will be a little bit uh, uh, based on my current test i found it a little bit faster compared to the kijai's video wrapper but the things will be improving definitely since it's just uh, early stage one to one one is just uh, literally just released right now you can follow this video if you want to if you don't want to go with the custom notes and follow a pretty straightforward just out of the box notes so let's start this video so since uh, i'm going to use one to one one point three billion model and i'm using mac m1 right now i won't be able to run this model on my mac it's just 8 gb of ram i'm going to use run pod now do note that uh, from the past video, uh, I found that people are not able to follow the tutorial, but this time I'm going to try my best to keep it as simple as possible and split it into the, the steps and parts. So if you still have any doubts and queries regarding it, you can ask them in down comment section and make sure to like this video and subscribe the channel for more similar such content. So if you want to follow the tutorial by using the run pod, you can follow the video from here. I'm just going to quickly create a uh, pod which is really easy. You can just uh, create an account on run pod and uh, go to pods here, click on deploy. And we are going to use community cloud. It's a little bit cheaper. For the GPU, I'm going to use a 4000 and 3090, 4090 can also work. But since this is uh, cheaper, which is 17 cent an hour, I'm going to go with this. There are many ways to go with the run pod. You can choose the template with literal comfy UI installed in it. But these things take time to set up. But I, the best thing I found just uh, change the template to run pod 2.4.0, CUDA 12.4.1. Just select it and uh, we are going to edit the template. Make sure you expose the ports of 4000 and 8188 and set the override. Now I'm doing this because I'm running it on cloud and I want to use the comfy UI on it so that's why we have to expose these ports in order to access the local host on our browser anyways you don't have to go this deep just follow the video if you don't want to understand the technical details just click on deploy and you will be good to go now i'm going to click on my ports and in just few seconds it will be ready okay uh, our run pod is running now you can click on connect now we are going to connect by using web terminal and you just have to click on open web terminal that's it now we are in the terminal now if you want to follow this video locally you can open terminal or command prompt if you are on windows you can fo uh, follow google if you don't know how to open command prompt you just have to go to the application search for command prompt also there is a shortcut uh, windows plus r and hit cmd and it's going to open the command prompt for you if you are on linux and mac you would already be familiar with the terminal and item you can hit command and space and search for item or if you don't have item installed you can search for terminal and hit enter and you will have a similar interface of this run pod now if you have already installed comfy UI, just uh, skip this part but now we are going to use the comfy UI. if you are on run pod make sure you navigate to the workspace by saying cd workspace now we are going to install comfy UI. just search for comfy UI on github copy the link from here and say git clone and paste the link here that's it. You have installed Comfy UI. Now we will navigate to Comfy UI. You can say CD Comfy UI with capital C and hit enter. Now if I ls, we will have requirements.txt. We will install all the requirements by saying pip install dash r requirements.txt and hit enter. I'm also going to install Comfy UI manager. I'm just going to copy the link similarly as I installed Comfy UI from the GitHub. Go back to the terminal. Now once all the requirements are installed, I'm going to clear the terminal. I'm going to change the directory by cd custom nodes and say git clone and paste the URL which we just copied of Comfy UI Manager. Now once it is installed, I'm going to move back by saying cd dot dot and clear the screen. And if I print the working directory, you will see that I am inside Comfy UI. This is where you have to be. Now we will quickly download the models and uh, we'll be good to run the Comfy UI 1.2.1 in our Comfy UI in run pod. It's just too straightforward and easy you just have to uh, download these three models which are listed here first we need we will downloading the text encoder just open this link in the new tab and uh, we are going to for download this e4m3 file just copy the download link go back to the terminal cd models text encoder and you just have to say wget and paste the link here and it's going to download the model for you i'm going to close this one now we will download the vae open it in new tab copy the download link just as we did earlier 
now since it is downloading and if you are on cloud we don't want to waste our time since it's costing us i'm going to create another instance of terminal just go back to my parts and open another web terminal that's it now we will navigate to the conf ui by saying cd workspace conf ui models and we want to download the vae and similarly say wget and paste the link we just copied now we will download the diffuser model i'm just going to open it in new tab now here the thing will be different a little bit for you if you want to download the 14 billion one you can do so if you want to download 1.3 billion you can download this one now there is there are two models image to video and text to video so i'm just going to go with the text to video if you want to go with image to video you can download the 14 billion models from here and also for text to video there is a 14 billion model over here uh, i'm just going to go with the 1.3 billion text to video bf16 just click on it just copy the download link open any terminal you want and make sure you see the dot dot now we are in the models now we are going to go to the diffusion models and say wget and paste the link here in our other terminal it has already downloaded the text encoder i'm going to clear the screen and we don't want this terminal now i'm just going to close this one we will be working this one only all right it is downloaded i'm going to clear the screen now cd dot dot cd dot dot make sure if i just print working directory you are inside conf ui over here now for running the conf ui you have to say python main dot pi dash dash listen at 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 make sure you add this now in few seconds you will be able to run 1.2.1 .1. now we are running our web ui at 0 0.0.8188 if you are on local you can open this but we cannot since we are on cloud we won't be able to access the local host of this directly for that we have exposed the port 8188 remember in the earlier while creating the ports you can go back to my ports and you will see that http service is ready if you are somehow over here you can click on connect and 8188 it is ready just click on it and you will have conf ui over here now we need the workflow you for the workflow just go back to the conf ui examples and we are going to go with the text to video here is the workflow in the json format just click on it and copy from here with just over here copy go back to your conf ui close it and hit command v or control v to paste the workflow now we will select the models from here real quick now for running you can put your prompt here whatever text you want to convert it to the video and you will have the generated video over here for running you can hit command return or control enter i think on windows or you can hit this q button here if I go back to the terminal, you will see that the, it will start to load the models and we'll soon start generating the video. So it is it is generating in uh, about two seconds per iteration. If I show you the stats real quick, how much GPU, CPU memory it is using. It is using about 10% of memory and 14% of CPU. And uh, the stats are a little bit older. So it is using 68% of GPU memory, 10% of memory, which is i think pretty good it can run easily on consumer hardware but i was on mac m1 so i won't be able to all right the prompt is executed in 117 seconds and it generated 33 frames and this is the video it generated we used 30 steps and you can increase the steps a little bit to improve the quality of the video but it will be uh, going to be a little slow so I would end this video over here if you have any doubts and I think it is pretty simple to follow if you still got any queries or any error regarding the installation you can ask in down comment section and uh, compared to the previous video with the Kijai's workflow you had to download uh, a lot of uh, models from different places and uh, I hope the process will be improved as the time passes but still I'll end this video here till then goodbye now make sure to stop if you are on cloud to stop the server go back to the pods make sure to stop it from here as well otherwise it's going to cost you and you can terminate